the versatility of whole grains, beyond rice and wheat. Title, The Versatility of Whole Grains, Beyond Rice and Wheat Introduction, 100 Words Whole grains have long been a dietary staple across different cultures, and their benefits for our health cannot be overstated. While rice and wheat have traditionally dominated the grain landscape, an array of other whole grains offer a surprising range of flavors, textures, and nutrients to explore. Unlike refined grains, which lose their outer bran and germ layers during processing, whole grains deliver all parts of the grain intact, maximizing their nutritional value. Dietary fiber plays a crucial role in maintaining digestive health and reducing the risk of various chronic conditions such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and certain cancers. Whole grains are an excellent source of fiber, with a higher content than their refined counterparts. Furthermore, they have a lower glycemic index, which helps regulate blood sugar levels and promote sustained energy. Throughout the day, These grains are also a rich source of vitamins and minerals. They contain B vitamins, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, and folate, vitamin E, and minerals like magnesium, selenium, and zinc. Incorporate Ing a variety of whole grains into your diet ensures a balanced intake of these essential nutrients. Exploring Ancient Grains, 400 Words Ancient grains, once the staple of civilizations long ago, have made a remarkable resurgence in recent times. Quinoa, an ancient grain from the Andean region, is one of the most popular choices. No. N is a complete protein, quinoa contains all nine essential amino acids, making it an important choice for vegetarians and vegans. Its delicate yet nutty flavor and light texture make it a versatile. Ingredient, suitable for salads, soups, stir-fries, and even baking. Millet, another ancient grain, is highly nutritious and boasts a mild, slightly sweet taste. With a composition similar to rice, millet can be used as a gluten-free alternative in various dishes incorporated. Looting porridge, pilafs, and casseroles. It is a good source of protein, B vitamins, magnesium, and antioxidants, making it a valuable addition to a balanced diet. Sorghum, untouched by modern hybridization, is not only gluten-free but also rich in dietary fiber and antioxidants. Its versatility shines through in dishes like salads, stews, and baked goods. In a addition, sorghum flour is widely used as a gluten-free option in baking. Amaranth, a grain often overshadowed by quinoa, is dense in vital nutrients, such as iron, calcium, and fiber. Its fine texture and slightly nutty taste complement various recipes, including porridge. Soups and desserts. Amaranth flour also comes in handy for gluten-free baking. Other lesser-known whole grains, 400 words. In our quest to explore the versatility of whole grains, numerous lesser-known varieties deserve recognition. Buckwheat, despite its name, is not related to wheat and is entirely gluten-free. Kamo Why used in soba noodles, buckwheat can also be ground into a flour for pancakes, muffins, and bread. Barley, a grain commonly associated with beer production, has numerous culinary applications. It adds a chewiness and nuttiness to soups, stews, salads, and risottos. Barley is also an excellent sour. Say of soluble fiber, known to help lower cholesterol levels. Farro, an ancient grain dating back thousands of years, has a hearty, nutty flavor and chewy texture. It is often used in Mediterranean cuisine, enhancing dishes such as salads, stews and pilafs. 
The Role of Ancient Grains, 400 Words In addition to their nutritional value, ancient grains have gained popularity due to their unique flavors and textures. Spelt, for instance, is an ancient wheat variety that offers a nutty flavor and a chewy texture. It can be used in a variety of dishes such as bread, pasta, and salads. Another ancient grain, kamut, is a close relative of wheat and has a buttery flavor. It is commonly used for baking bread, making pasta, and adding texture to salads. Freaky, which comes from young green wheat, has a smoky flavor and a slightly chewy texture. It is commonly used in Middle Eastern cuisine, particularly in salads, pilafs, and stews. Tef a tiny grain native to Ethiopia, is known for its ability to thrive in harsh climates. It has a mild, nutty flavor and is often ground into flour to make injera, a traditional Ethiopian flatber. Add. Tef can also be used in baking or as a porridge. Modern uses for whole grains, 400 words. As our understanding of whole grains continues to grow, so does our repertoire of ways to incorporate them into our everyday meals. One popular application is making grain bowls, where a variety of C. Booked whole grains are topped with an assortment of vegetables, proteins, and a flavorful dressing. This simple yet satisfying meal idea allows for endless creativity and personalization. Whole grains also lend themselves well to baked goods. Experimenting with different types of flour, such as spelt, quinoa, or amaranth flour, can add a unique twist to muffins, bread, and cookies. Th. Essay flours can often be found in specialty stores or can be made at home by grinding the whole grains into a fine powder. For those looking to add more whole grains to their breakfast routine, options abound. Old-fashioned oats can be upgraded by mixing in other grains like quinoa or amaranth before cooking. Toppings Lee K-fresh fruit, nuts, and a drizzle of honey can further enhance the flavor profile. In desserts, whole grains can be a surprising addition. From using quinoa or amaranth as a base for puddings to incorporating barley or spelt flour into cakes and cookies, these grains can add depth and complexity to sweet treats. The Role of Ancient Grains, 400 Words In addition to their nutritional value, ancient grains have gained popularity due to their unique flavors and textures. Spelt, for instance, is an ancient wheat variety that offers a nutty flavor and a chewy texture. It can be used in a variety of dishes such as bread, pasta, and salads. Another ancient grain, kamut, is a close relative of wheat and has a buttery flavor. It is commonly used for baking bread, making pasta, and adding texture to salads. Freaky, which comes from young green wheat, has a smoky flavor and a slightly chewy texture. It is commonly used in Middle Eastern cuisine, particularly in salads, pilafs, and stews. Tef, a tiny grain native to Ethiopia, is known for its ability to thrive in harsh climates. It has a mild, nutty flavor and is often ground into flour to make injera, a traditional Ethiopian flatber. Add. Tef can also be used in baking or as a porridge. Modern uses for whole grains, 400 words. As our understanding of whole grains continues to grow, so does our repertoire of ways to incorporate them into our everyday meals. One popular application is making grain bowls, where a variety of C. Booked whole grains are topped with an assortment of vegetables, proteins, and a flavorful dressing. This simple yet satisfying meal idea allows for endless creativity and personalization. Whole grains also lend themselves well to baked goods. 
Experimenting with different types of flour, such as spelt, quinoa, or amaranth flour, can add a unique twist to muffins, bread, and cookies. Th. SA flours can often be found in specialty stores or can be made at home by grinding the whole grains into a fine powder. For those looking to add more whole grains to their breakfast routine, options abound. Old-fashioned oats can be upgraded by mixing in other grains like quinoa or amaranth before cooking. Toppings Lee K-fresh fruit, nuts, and a drizzle of honey can further enhance the flavor profile. In desserts, whole grains can be a surprising addition. From using quinoa or amaranth as a base for puddings to incorporating barley or spelt flour into cakes and cookies, these grains can add depth and complexity to sweet treats. The Role of Ancient Grains, 400 Words